Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. In this video I want to show you how people used to split firewood here in Sweden in our area not too long ago. So this machine here, it's called a Törrebuda Klöv. Klöv means splitter and Törrebuda is a little town in Sweden um, where these, I guess, were built. So when we first moved to Sweden, um, we had to heat all of our houses with firewood and we still do actually. And we were thinking of a cheap and efficient way how to split our wood. So I want to show you what this little interesting looking splitter does. Okay, so now that we have dug out the machine from this corner in our property that was very much not taken care of, I would like to show you just uh, the different components that this, that this machine is uh, made out of. So the whole machine is driven by an electrical engine and you see this belt that goes inside this box, okay, which is a basically just a protective box partially for the weather, partially for us, um, for safety. And inside of that box, which is basically um, the heart of the machine, uh, you, have a, you have a big, heavy flywheel. And I will show you what this will do. Now, you see, there is an opening right here, and actually the exact same opening on the other side of the box. And that's where you put the firewood that you want to split. So that is pretty much the whole machine and I, I want to show you a little more in detail. Now here you have the place where you put the actual wood and um, how this works is once the electric engine is started and it's spinning um, this flywheel in here um, it has two axe heads mounted to it so it spins and it, it does so very very fast and you see this is one of the axe heads as you hold the piece of wood you don't hold it um, vertically you you hold it um, in a laying position and this axe head as it spins very fast it will hit the piece of the wood at the end and then as, as it pushes through it will split the piece of wood um, this works for most pieces of wood some are really hard to split so that won't work really well but um, you have you have this thing go so fast that if it doesn't do it the first time you just flip the wood around and put it in again and I mean this axe, axe head it will come by here probably every two seconds or so and now what, what the whole thing that makes this so efficient is that you have an axe head here and an opening and on the other side uh, people there can be two people splitting wood at the same time and so you just take a piece of wood hold it in it splits it you throw it away I will show you later in action now what you see here is uh, where the flywheel is mounted in the center of this box and you just see how I mean how solid this thing was built I, that's just what they did back then they, they just uh, had a quality of iron and a, and a thickness and everything that people just don't use anymore today partially for weight but um, I, I guess it was a little bit um, oversized everything but you know at the same time this this just doesn't break I mean you have this wood on the box and, and you can just as this breaks you know uh, put new wood there but but 
the mechanics on this, I mean, they're just so simple and it won't break. Um, you you can you know put put oil in it and and it's just it's just a wonderful wonderful little simple efficient wood splitter. Now here you see the electrical engine that this thing is driven by. Uh, we actually when we used this we had to put a piece of wood here because uh, when you started this up uh, this would actually spin quicker than the belt at the time and it would try to chump off so we just put this here so it wouldn't do that. Now you see it's really interesting um, the whole reason this is here and you might recognize this from a from a tractor the, the people put it here because by turning this you could either make the belt looser or more tight fitting and 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 that way um, you always had guaranteed that the flywheel and the belt would work the right way so that's that's how it works let me show you I, I hope that I will actually get this thing to work. We haven't used it for years. Uh, the cable's still there, so let's just see what happens. So it seems like the the engine is stuck. It uh, seems to have champed up. So I'm just gonna try real quick to to get it to work. If not, we'll have to think of something else. No, unfortunately, the years of it standing just outside in the weather have uh, made it broken, jammed up, not working. So uh, I will try to get a little spin on the on the flywheel so I can show you how it works, anyways. Okay, now since I um, can't get this thing to spin all the way uh, and the right way, I still want to show you how it will split wood. Um, there's the axe. But since I can't get the engine started, I will never get enough speed and strength to, to split a piece of real firewood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this little piece of scrap wood from our workshop there and I'm gonna spin the wheel by hand and hopefully it'll chip it through so you see the way it works or it's supposed to work. Almost. <laughs> I really gotta get this thing going again. But here you see, that's how it works. And, and, and you know, it has a really high speed. It does, does it on both sides. Um, the X comes zoom, zoom, zoom. And in between the times it passes by, you have the time to stick in the piece of wood. And um, I mean, this is why we split our firewood for years. Quite effective if you're a lot of people. So today we uh, use this kind of splitter. Uh, works with hydraulics. Um, you just start the engine, it pumps the oil. You push this button here and, and, and it pushes the, the piece of firewood against that um, against that axe there and and you see with this machine we're actually able to split split a three foot length uh, piece of wood and uh, which which makes it quite efficient as well uh, because you don't have you know what where in the other machine you had to hold each one foot long piece of firewood in that um, in that little box. Here you split with just one move, you split uh, sometimes sometimes uh, six, sometimes 12 pieces of wood. If you have a big one, there's the horizontal 
X as well. So um, I guess this is much, much safer. Uh, we do a lot of firewood with this. Um, I personally think this machine is stinking boring. Um, I just like action. I like it faster moving and it's, it's, it's just, oh man, standing here and splitting many, many cubic yards of wood. It's just not my favorite thing. I like it more with a axe in the hand, but uh, you know, we have three households that we have to heat. So this works well. And then you see once, uh, once you have uh, split the wood, we stack it up here, it, it dries. And then, uh, then over here, we have our little saw uh, where we just cut the, these three feet long pieces into one foot pieces and then they go in our shed where, where we'll burn them eventually. So um, yeah, that's how we do firewood today. Well, this is it. I'm sorry that I didn't get the thing to work. I'll try to get it to do that a different day and hopefully we'll be able to show you. But I think you got the picture. I always find it very interesting to see how people used to do things back then. And, and this actually still works. Uh, if I get the engine to work, it would work perfectly fine. It's not meeting all the uh, safety regulations that are required today. And, and actually that's one reason with all our little kits running around here on the farm why we chose a different splitter. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway and um, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We're going to be posting a lot more videos there um, featuring our life here on the farm and our attempt to, to live off of the land and, and to be homesteaders here in Sweden. Um, it'll be very interesting, so please join us on our journey. Bye-bye.